So now what we're going to do is we're going to select this and we're going to click again to select the top. So as you can see you can select the different parts and we want to make sure we have this top part selected. We're going to click this gear and we're going to click shell. And as you can see it empties out or hollows out the middle. Just like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the internal structure of this mitochondria this right here using splines like we did when we made the cell wall and the plasma membrane. So we're going to go back to the sketch tool we're going to go to splines we're going to click on the grid and we're going to make a design similar to this inside so what we're going to do is we're going to start by left clicking right about here and we're just going to trace out a design of the internal structure of that mitochondria. And then we're going to close the design and it should look something similar to this and then we're going to go back to the construct tool and click extrude and select this and we're going to use this arrow to raise our design up it should look something like this so now what we're going to do is we're going to shell this design just like we did with the sphere so we're going to make sure we have the top selected we're going to click the gear and we're going to press shell this is what it should look like right about now just to make this a little easier we're going to change the color of this by making sure you have it selected and going to the materials tool and picking a color. So now we're going to select the internal structure of the mitochondria. We're going to go to the move and rotate tool and we're going to drag it inside our mitochondria. going to have to drag it inside and then we're going to have to drag it up a little bit. So it should look something similar to this. Now we can click our spline and press delete on the keyboard and we're going to highlight both of these parts by left clicking and dragging a box around these and we're going to go to transform and move and rotate to drag it inside of our cell using the arrows just like this